Hi everyone, thanks for watching me. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Hello, good morning. It is Saturday morning here. Um, we've got a sort of cyclonic weather formation over Brisbane in Australia at this point. Uh, it's extremely humid, not exactly cold. It's about 26 Celsius as I talk now and it's at 10 a.m. So it's not exactly a hot day, but it is extremely humid. Now, what I've noticed with the humidity is that it can send us sort of crazy. We get like a mind fog and we get um, fatigued, etc. So today I want to do a video, not just about the weather. <laughs> we all get it, right? Um, harp and um, other things out there. Anyway, so I want to talk today about how we're all feeling with our energy and how we can attack all this negativity or fatigue or sleeplessness how many of you are sleepless at this point not sleeping well so the first thing I want to go into is just say that I'm going to talk about a couple of different techniques today to help us get through all this right so there's going to be about three techniques that I'm going to talk about today but the first thing is I want to talk about when I died back in 2001 you know that was 21 odd years ago now and when I was talking to my great, 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 great grandmother, there's four greats there, right? She was telling me all this stuff about what's going to happen in the 2020s, like the first five years. So it's 2020, 21, 22, 23, 24. Um, a lot of it's now coming true. And I don't like talking about it because it is not nice. Okay. But it is funny how I'm getting all these confirmations about what is happening and how she was telling me how not to let this um, destroy me, okay? So, first of all, one of the first tech things that we have to identify here is our physical body is not the end-all, be-all. Our physical body is run by our ego, okay? So this may be a learning process for some of you who don't understand this um, phenomenon, okay? We have a physical body, which is run by, by our mind. That's our ego. It gives us our thoughts. It tells us our to-do lists. It tells us where to go and get a job. Our, all our calculations of, oh my God, I need to earn this much money so I can afford to spend it on this. So it, it gives us all this information, our ego, right? It also gives us our personality. Now, in psychiatry, we learn that personality is our traits that are created by society okay so if you are a homeless person you may have a personality that is created from that scenario whereby you can either turn grateful and generous to go out and help the other people that are homeless or it could turn you selfish conceited and one of those people who say, it's all about me, I deserve more than this. Because there's a lot of deserving ones out there, right? I deserve better than this. I feel privileged, okay? So that's our personality. But when we look at our characteristics, those traits are what we're born with, okay? So if you ever go in for a job interview, they might say, here's a personality test to identify those traits that are going to suit for that societal job that you're going to get, okay? So characteristics is what we're born with. Um, being generous, kind, because this is all the stuff that we get from heaven that we're incarnated into, into this existence. So we can lose those through those societal personality traits that we pick up, okay? So there's a very big difference with personality and characteristics, okay? So what I hope to achieve by these videos that I do is to identify our characteristic behaviors that we can then go back to tune out all this societal influence that we get so then we go back to our primal or pre-humanistic existence of what characteristics we had when we were angelic up in the universe and all loving and dovey up there okay all right so I just wanted to clarify that okay so when we get rid of our ego okay 
When we take away that ego, which dictates our humanistic forms, we then rely on dum -da -da -dum, our intuition, our higher self, and more so our subconscious. Okay? And that's why when we have dreams, sometimes we have those really vivid dreams, like we're there and we wake up and it's like, wow, I was actually there because you see all the colors and it's like everyone talking to you has got some sort of information and you think, wow, I've got to write all this down. Those vivid dreams that we have is what they call lucid dreaming. So they're the dreams that we want to pay attention to because that is either our higher self or somebody else. It could be a dead grandmother. It could be an angel. It could be a spirit guide. It could be archangels. It could be a lot of influences that come in to give us those messages when we're asleep because when we're asleep, our ego is turned off. Does that make sense for you? I hope it does, because it's what I believe. It's true, okay? So when we sleep, it's a representation of all those things that are going on in the background behind our ego in our brain, not our mind, because our mind, as I said, is our ego, okay? So when we dream, we're actually tapping into that intuitive or higher self, or um, connection to that source, which is I call the universe, or some other people call heaven, home, um, universal energies, archangels, etc. But when we're asleep, that's when we're more connected because we learn to turn our, off our ego. Okay? So, one thing how are you sleeping? How are you sleeping? Because if you say, oh my God, my sleep is just like, I sleep for two hours and I'm waking up in a sweat and I'm having all these nightmares, I'm going to give you some techniques today on how to correct that, if you want to call it that, so then we all have better sleeps and we all connect better, okay? So I'm going to share what I do. Now, I don't do this every night. But surprise, surprise, when I don't do it, I have those mishmash dreams and I have these really crazy waking up three or four times a night because I know that my subconscious is working overdrive. So if you know the words I am, how strong are those two words? I am. Now, the first thing I'm going to clarify is straight out of my book. If we say, I am going on a diet, the brain hears the word going on a diet. So it keeps us in that perpetual state where we are going to need to go on a diet. But if you say to yourself, I am thin, the brain instantly realizes that we are already what we have said because what we think we create, right? So this is what we can do in our consciousness when we're awake with our ego involved. So we're telling our mind, okay, because that's our ego driven, we're telling our mind what we want to create. The more we talk about how sick we are, the more you will get sick. The more you concentrate on looking for a job, the more job interviews you will go to where you don't get that job because you're creating going to job interviews. Does this make sense? So as soon as you say to yourself, I have a job or I am working instead of I am looking for a job, the more you will get that job at the interview because we're creating that energy which is emitted to everybody else around us. And then when you go for that job interview, that person sitting there interviewing you, they can pick up, oh my God, they've already got this job, okay? This stuff really works, okay? So when we go to bed at night, I'm going to tell you what I do. There's a couple of techniques, okay? One, I lie on my bed. And I start talking to her. You know this girl that's always with me, right? Um, people may not know, but I actually talk about her in my book, Five Years in Heaven. 
and I do have a picture of her when she appeared to me in the pool, right? So when um, I talked to her, see there she is in the pool, okay? It was all energy around her. The water all disappeared. So this is my book, Five Years in Heaven. Okay, so when I talked to her, because she is a celestial being, right? Whenever I talk, she actually liked me saying that. She just started clapping. I heard her clapping. She does this clapping noise, okay? I love you so much, okay? See what I just did? I acknowledge what she does and then I say, I thank you so much because I'm so grateful and I'm so honored that she works with me, okay? So whenever I lie in bed at night, I get all myself comfy. I go to the toilet. I make sure I'm not hungry. I get my comfy clothes on. I've got my sheet or my dooney or my blankie, my favorite pillowcase. I get myself nice and comfortable, right? I'm lying in bed like I could go to sleep because ultimately that's what I want to do. But I sit there and the first technique that I want to share with you guys tonight is I say thank you to her thank you so much for being with me please feel me around you and let me feel you around me because we are connected okay so in that instant where I feel her around me it's like having someone in the bed with me okay so I talk to her like it's um, somebody else in the bed or a cat or your dog or something else your pet crocodile crocodile (laughs) I don't care what sort of pets you have in the bed with you okay so (laughs) as long as it's not the rhino (laughs) anyway Okay, so I lie on the bed and I connect with her because when we've got somebody that we sleep with, it's actually forming a security blanket around us. That's my cat meowing, by the way. (laughs) Okay, if she comes in, I'll pick her up so you can have a look at what she looks like. Okay, so when we have this security blanket around us, it makes us want to go to sleep okay so if you do sleep alone imagine that there's somebody next to you and you'll go to sleep a lot faster but when she comes in this is the technique that I have I actually imagine her near me while I'm lying on the bed all nice and comfy and then I put this big white bubble around me like an egg okay I imagine it going up around my head it goes down around my toes up under the end um, the bottom of the bed up underneath the bed and back around up the top of my head and it goes around both arms so it's like a big egg around me and when I put this white egg around me I fill it with white light okay so I imagine this big white energy field around me and when I lie there in this white egg I'll call it an egg or an igloo that's when I can then say my I am's And I can also dictate the rules of what I want to happen that night. So the first thing as I'm lying there in this big white egg and I can feel her near me. The first thing I always say is thank you. Thank you so much for allowing me to know that you're here with me. Thank you so much for picking me out of the other 8 million people on the planet to be with. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. I'm so honoured and blessed that you're here with me giving me the comfort giving me that support giving me that health giving me that generosity that kindness and love that I can admit to other people because as soon as I say those words I'm creating those words not just in my consciousness but also now in my subconscious as I go to sleep okay So after I say all my thank yous, I actually say what I want that night to happen. Please keep me supported. Please keep me secure. Please keep me protected. Please keep me healthy. Please keep me loving, kind, generous and understanding for anyone who I interact with. So that's another thing that I say, okay? Then I go through my I am's. I am healthy, I am fit, I am young, I am beautiful, I am generous, I am kind, I am understanding and I am forgiving. Those sort of things. Oh, and some nights I even put in there, I am thin. Okay? Because the more we say it, 
the more our brain creates it. Okay? All right. So I go through this technique before bed and then I set up the rules. What I say is this. Thank you so much for allowing me to be in your presence because it's her. I'm in her presence. Thank you so much for protecting, securing me, looking after me and keeping me healthy. Thank you. Thank you so much. But tonight, I do not give permission. I do not give consent for any negative energies to attach to me. I give no right and no permission for any negativity to attach to my mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field. I cover all five. So when I go to sleep, I have good dreams. So I'm creating this in my consciousness. So when I turn subconscious in our unconscious state, I dream good things. I do not grant any permission for negativity to come in. I give no right or permission for nightmares. I give no right or permission for any negativity whatsoever to affect my dreams. However, I do grant permission for good, loving people, entities to come in with messages for me that will help me. If anyone wishes to come through in their subconscious state, please come through with your messages and let me allow me to remember those when I wake up. Okay? So I set up rules before I go to sleep at night. Okay? If there's something that I need to work on within myself, some trauma from my past, or some issue that's arising. I've got too many things on my to-do list. I don't know which one to attack first tomorrow. Please come through with that guidance so I can therefore do what's in my higher good tomorrow to accomplish these things in my life. Okay? So before I go to bed, I have these... I always give thanks first. I always fill myself around with this big white bubble of energy and I say, while I'm in that energy field, I say, I am healthy, I am fit, I am strong, I am a truth seeker, I do find out the truth, those sort of things, okay, because we're living in so many lies and deceit at this point. And believe me, you know, when I spoke to my great, 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 great grandmother back in 2001, she told me from 2020, there is going to be so many lies and deceit from those in authority. Now you're figuring out what she's talking about because she didn't give it a title. Okay, she didn't give it a title. But she said those in authority will be lying so much, but they know the truth. But they do not want us to know it. So we must therefore go out and find that truth ourselves. Okay, I'm a researcher. I'm an analyst. So that's what I do every day. I sit on other search engines that aren't controlled. And I try and research the truth of what's really going on. Okay. So at night, if you do have struggle um, struggles when you go to sleep or you're having really weird dreams and you're waking up every two hours, please put this big white bubble around you and try my technique. If it works, please comment below and let me know, okay? Let me know if this stuff works because nine times out of ten, when we say something, it works. Last February... I'm not going to tell you how much I weighed because, hello, that's a girl thing. But I went to the doctor and I weighed myself. And I said, can you please log it on my file how much I weigh? Three months later, so that was 12 weeks later, I went back and I said, I want to weigh myself today. And he weighed me on the same scales. 
And I said to him, have you changed these? Have you modified them, changed their batteries or anything during the last three months? And he said, no. So there was no external corruptible forces there that would suggest an ir- irregular reading from my weight 12 weeks ago. I lost 16 kilos. Now that's about 35 pounds in 12 weeks. The doctor said to me, my God, what diet have you gone on? Because this is awesome. I've got obese patients. I'm going to tell them your technique. And I looked at him and I said, every day I eat chocolate. Every day I do not exercise. But what I do do every day, I tell myself I am thin. I wake up in the morning. I am thin. I am thin. I am so thin. I am so thin. I am thin. I go to the toilet and I'm sitting on the toilet and I'm sitting there. I am thin. I am thin. Oh my God, I am thin. As I start washing up after breakfast, I am thin. I am thin. I am so thin. I am thin. Driving in the car, I am thin. I am thin. I am thin. Okay? So I'd say it to myself about a thousand times a day. I am thin. I am thin. I lost 35 pounds in 12 weeks. No dietary change. No exercise regime. The power of the brain is that intensive that we can create what we say. Okay? So this is a good time to sit there with your friends and your family. What do they talk about all day? Are they talking about the dramas? Are they talking about their bills? Are they talking about how sick they are? Are they talking about the C word or the V word? And what are they talking about? Because the more they talk, the more they are creating. Okay? And it's contagious. If you've got a person that always rings you every day and they say, Oh my God, I've been to the doctor. Oh, I'm sick. I've got this. I've got that. I have got. See what they're saying? So you say, I have health, I have happiness, I have joy, prosperity, fortune, money, 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 money. And most of all, I have my true self. So I can emit my true self to others. Look at yourself. Are you kind, generous, loving, understanding, supportive friends? Or are you the ones who ring somebody else just to let them know how much drama you've got in your life? Think about what you say to people because they will reflect that. They will start picking up those thoughts and saying it for themselves. So if you're there telling your friends, oh my God, I'm sick, I've been to the doctors, I'm on this pill and that pill and that pill, they themselves will start getting sick as well. Okay? This stuff really works okay so have a look at your friends and family have a look at those who you associate with okay what do they talk about the most what is it that you want to talk about the most and start spreading that to them now I know when this stuff works because my eyes water okay this eye I do have an eye injury hello I died you don't want to know what happened that that week prior But I do have an eye injury, so this eye does water. I've identified it. I'm happy to have it because it's a reflection of what I've been through. It's my battle scar. You know, people say to me, Linda, if these IMs work, why don't you cure your eyesight? And I say to people, this words of wisdom, I do not want to fix my eyesight for I know I have the ability to because I've got a broken neck should they've cured I had a brain tumor. They've cured that. So why do I wear glasses? Because it's when I take off my glasses and I see clearly, not of this three-dimensional world, but I see the auras around people and I see the vibrational energy fields. I know this is them laughing at me. Now, I'll just let you have a look. I'll put this up to the screen so you see sort of through my eyes but when I take off my glasses I'm now seeing things for what they truly are 
because most of my energy work that I do it's not through these it's through this so this is the universe saying to me Linda you don't need your eyes but you do need them in this three-dimensional world so hello here's glasses okay so I don't need to fix my eyes but I know I have the capacity to do it if I so choose so today the message what do you choose if you're having nightless sleepless nights are you choosing that or are you now going to set those rules and boundaries you know what I do not want to wake up tonight I am going to sleep all night I am going to sleep all night I am having a six hour sleep with no interruptions I am having dreams that are calm tranquil gorgeous loving dreams we can start to learn how to control our subconscious and this is how we start waking up because it's our subconscious when we get our messages and we identify them so if you do have weird dreams and you think well that was like I was really in that think about what was said and make notes start a journal and write down the messages of what they were saying you know I have these dreams where I'm in front of this man and he's talking at me and he throws shows me symbols I don't know what they are but when I wake up I draw down this I draw them down I make pictures of what the symbols look like okay so that's something that you might do think about what they say what did this person look like try and draw them so you remember in our woken conscious state using our mind what our true self is trying to tell us okay that's how we start connecting to who we are okay because when we connect back through this three-dimensional world and we eradicate that and we get back to our subconscious level that's when we know we're on the right path of connecting with ourselves when we connect with ourselves that allows us then to access access because we're now accessing the subconscious of our brain right when we can then access that part of our brain that's when we can learn psychic abilities that's when you'll start seeing ghosts if you want them if you choose to want them okay this is when you'll start having ESP so if you do start to control how you are when you're subconscious like unconscious asleep that's when you can start doing it in this three-dimensional world as well okay I only want the best for all of you I love you all I hope that these techniques today have helped you a little bit if you do want further information the teachings of heaven it's part two of my book look how thick my book is you know it's a thick book in the back half well this is my near-death experience in the first half but in the back half teachings of heaven it's all techniques and exercises on how to be our true self I've got exercises in there how to connect with yourself etc if you do want a copy of my book it's on my website if you don't want to buy the hard copy so I do have the PDF available on my website the link is down below if there's somebody who you think would like this today please let them know about my channel so they can hopefully come along and watch some of my videos and hopefully subscribe and like them okay um, but until then I have said enough I hope every single one of you has had a gorgeous day today I hope that when you go to bed tonight you sit there and you think okay I'm going to put this big white bubble around me and I'm going to try Linda's technique and say my I am's and what I don't allow I give you no right or permission to to bring in bad dreams I want good night's sleep start that in process and write it down it may take a few weeks but because every you know, it's like riding a bike we don't just get it in one hit unless you're like a prodigy so write it down say okay last night I had three hours sleep straight and the next night I had three and a half hours sleep straight so you can see that it's working to get that confirmation that I spoke about in my last video okay let me know how it goes please comment below if this stuff works for you okay and until then love is all stay safe stay in love with yourself and admit that to everybody else and I'll talk to you all again soon bye
To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.